All right, joining us now is Matthew Kennegy. Kennegy. Kennegy, yeah. there we go. Senior Director of Strategic Development for Caesars. Welcome. Thank you. And your main focus at Caesars right now is uh, is sports marketing. So what are your main goals? That's right, sports marketing. So it's, it's pretty vast, right? So Caesars has a big network of obviously casino properties in North America. So it's all 40 casino properties. It's marketing all those venues. It's obviously sports betting is the hot topic right now. So it's thinking about rolling out sports betting in various states. And it's also engaging with our partners. So we're the first casino partner of the NFL. We're partners with ESPN and Bleacher Report. We're building studios in Las Vegas um, with both Bleacher and ESPN. So there's a lot under it. It's a lot of fun. So we have to talk about this. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I don't want to talk about this. We're going to talk about it, though, because I'm always fascinated with how people get involved in this industry. And um, you know well, speaking of sports, you actually started out as a professional wrestler. This is like I, like, I did, yeah. You're a professional wrestler. Yeah, so how does right. that segue into? Tell me what happened. So that it's not a direct path for sure. No, that's okay. <laughs> I was a professional wrestler. I actually trained when I was in high school, and uh, eventually segued. I got degrees. I worked my way through my MBA. I worked in retail. I worked in hospitality, and eventually I bridged into casinos. And I worked on cruise ships. Worked in Native American casinos. Moved to Las Vegas about 12 years ago. Worked for a competitor of Caesars, and then uh, worked for Caesars. And I've done everything from professional wrestling to be a dealer to be an author to be a casino host and everything in between and now now I'm running sports for the largest gaming company in America. All I heard when you were talking just now honestly I was like you were you worked at the casino on the cruise ship? I did yeah I did. <laughs> I've had a lot of lives. How was that? How was that? Uh, that it was interesting it was it was different. Yeah it's yeah. a little different right? Yeah, yeah. it's all though everybody wants to have fun right they come to a casino they come to a cruise ship everybody wants to have fun and that's part of the fun of the job. I don't know if I could go for an experience for sure. Yeah, for sure. I don't know if I could go back to working in an office building after well, all that. And also read too that you uh, you really helped the link the new yeah. the new hotel here in Las Vegas. You helped them sort of uh, with some of their marketing and, and some of their strategies there. One of those was with holograms and with virtual reality. How does that play into this? Yeah, so we actually took uh, Caesars took a big leap in innovation. And we took about 45,000 square feet at the Link Casino across from Caesars Palace. And we turned that into what we thought the next generation casino experience was. And it was everything from interactive LED screens with world-renowned artists to uses of hologram and augmented reality games that came up right off your drink coasters to holograms you played games against. Uh, the most interesting thing we did from a sports perspective though is we totally reinvented the viewing experience. So we took all of our favorite things from watching a game at home or going to an arena or even going to your favorite bar and we built that at the links. So in the center of the casino there's actually 12 living rooms you can rent on game day. You can watch what? six games at once. You can control your own audio. You can play Xbox. You can watch games in virtual reality. You can play augmented reality beer pong coming up off of your drink coasters. Anything and everything. You can give me a bottle service. I mean, this is like having a cabana at the pool on game day, though, in the casino. Beer pong. It sounds like a place for 90-year-olds, right? <laughs> of course. So, so how, how wonderful for Caesars to kind of look into the future and sort of see they've got to start reaching the millennials, the Gen Zers. They've yeah. got to start reaching that segment of the population, right? I mean, that's, yep. that's automatically where I went when you started saying that. But is it is it are you seeing just young people? Or are we seeing just a, a vast Yeah, surprisingly. Pool so here? we we were start we started to fall down the M trap, right? The millennials. Like we had to solve the millennial problem. And what we really found as we dug into research is that it goes far beyond millennials. So there's there's behavioral patterns of people who visit casinos and who like sports that transcend all generations. So it's, you know, I want to go somewhere that I can have a great experience with me and my friends because I travel with my friends a lot or with my spouse. I want somewhere where I can share that and share that with my friends on social media. I want to have control of my environment. So all of those factors influenced what we built at the link. And then you'll see specific zones that were kind of built to tailor more towards this is what a millennial wants, like a very engaging atmosphere, a very high High tech atmosphere and then you'll see that blend into a traditional casino so it really has something for everybody yeah i was gonna say even even old people they want they want to have something that's going to be high oh absolutely and and, and and clean lines and the hologram experience and the virtual reality experience that's something anybody can really enjoy. yeah everybody wants the hyped up living room on game day absolutely. right like who would want that absolutely right? <laughs> now speaking of the gen zers and millennials you know we're sort of seeing this kind of shift and i keep hearing even here at this at the expo here you know people are a little concerned about what the future looks like for uh brick and mortar mm -hmm. when you see all these kids like on their phones and you, and you see this is where everybody's going now when, when it comes to gaming the younger generation that's right what do you see in the future so we're fortunate to be on both sides of that right we have brick and mortar casinos and then we're also active online right so i think we're going to be active in both 
Um, I think, look, we, we, from my friends in Hollywood, I've done a lot of work actually with folks in Hollywood who are trying to figure out, you know, how do people absorb content? What's the best route to absorb content? And obviously a lot of that is on phone and mobile devices, right? And that includes gaming too. So we need to embrace that, right? That's how the generation, next generation is telling us they want to engage, they want to play games, they want to engage content, they want to watch things on their own time, on their own device. And that's the direction we're going as well. So we're not as concerned about mobile. We actually use or with uh, land-based casinos. We actually move people back and forth, right? We'd love you to have the experience on your couch at home, but we're going to build some of the best places to watch and view and experience a game on our property. If you want to leave your couch, we're going to give you a reason to go somewhere. And if you don't, go ahead and stay on your couch. It's fine with us. Yeah, hence the 12, the 12 living rooms, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll build our own couch in the casino for you. There you go. Yeah. Um, so how do you top that? What do you have planned in the future? Well, I think the exciting thing about sports and sports betting, I think it's only the beginning, right? It's in its infancy. And with a company as large as Caesars, we have a big reach across North America. So we can leverage that reach in a lot of ways. For example, being the first partner of the NFL, we can do lots of great things. What does that the mean when you, when you say you're partnering with the NFL? What, what does that mean specifically? What so, are you guys doing? So we're the official casino partner. So we not only our players can get uh, tickets to games, we also partner with them on, we can use the their uh, IP within our casino in unique ways. So for example, I could have a unique table game felt for the NFL, or I could um, have a specific, uh, you know, we do a photo shoot with NFL films, um, with some ex NFL talent. Like there's a lot of things we can do, right? And we can bring into our environment. Obviously the NFL is very, um, you know, hands off on sports betting. We respect that and we're great with that because, you know, there's multiple ways you can look at sports in a casino environment. There's, you know, and, and I focus on two different ways. There's, you know, being a fan, what's it like to be a sports fan at Caesars? And can I engage with my favorite athletes? And, you know, what are the sports viewing experiences? And how do I enjoy that on property? And then there's the entire side that's the sports betting. And how do I engage? And how do I have the best platform to enjoy sports betting? So really two different routes. Um, we look at, obviously, with our NFL partnership, how do we leverage being a fan on property? What does it mean to be a fan of the NFL and then being on a Caesars property? And then with some of our other partners like Bleacher Report and like ESPN, it's more about betting and can we do unique betting shows and content uh, that are coming live from our properties. All right, that sounds good. I can't imagine what you guys have planned in the future because you have all these partnerships with all these sports teams now and ESPN and Bleacher Report. And I mean, I'm sure the list goes on. Lots and of big on. stuff is coming. And the NFL draft is coming to Vegas next year. So That's we're all right. incredibly excited. That is going to be huge for you guys. All right. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Appreciate it.